Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial and Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we will talk about event handlers. So first, we will talk about what is event handler, why it is important, types of event handler that is possible, and then we will move to the practical part and, and, and I will show you how you can utilize event handler in your project. So first, we will understand what is event handler. Okay. So event handler is possible for uh, table level, for form level. It can be categorized as table level events or form level events, or it can be categorized as method level events. Okay. If we we'll go to the front end, and in this project, you can see that we have a custom table called employee table that we have created. So if we we'll open it, you can see that there is a node event node is there so it is nothing but a is it is these events are associated with this particular table when one particular record will be inserted or deleted okay so that time this event can be occur in this event node you can see various types of events are there for example on deleted so this event particular event will uh, occur or this particular code will execute when you will delete it where your deleted will be completed that time this particular event will occur so likewise various types of events are there which is associated with this particular table but if you will open the method then you can see that no event is uh, if you will open the method node then you can see that there is no particular methods are associated with that particular table so if you will open it as a if you will search in an application explorer cast table and if you open the cast table this one and you can see there is also different types of events are there there is also different types of methods are there in the methods node so if you will expand it you can see that these are the events so if you will expand it in the method node you will be able to see different types of methods are associated with it so if you will right click on a balance MST this particular method or any other method which is actually present so you can right click on the method and you can copy the event handler method for example pre event handler and post event handler so there is a difference between these methods and these events right so these events are associated with this particular table but this may, may, which is present in this particular method and if you right click and copy the event handler from this section these are pre and post event handler which is associated with this particular method so if you want to change something before and after this particular method then you can use a pre handler and post handler code and if you want to change something uh, specific to this uh, table level so then you can uh, use that time these events okay and you can say these events as a data event handler but at the method level you can say it as a pre event handler or pre handler or post event handler or post handler so this way you can call it as well as you can also see the events for form level so uh, if you will search the form cast table here from here below section then in the form section you can also see that cast table is there if you we'll open it so if you'll we'll open it right click on it and if you'll we'll open it in the designer section you can see that it is having a uh, different types of node for example method node is there event node is there right so if you we'll expand it you can see different types of uh, events are associated with this particular cast table so these events are associated with the cast table uh, form itself okay so it is these events are on the form level and if you we'll expand the methods and if you we'll right click on it you can see also that you can copy the pre event handler post event handler uh, for the methods which is available on this particular form okay so these methods are associated with the methods which is associated with that form so if you we'll, uh, expand these data sources then data sources is nothing but a kind of table we can add to our data sources so if we'll expand it there you can also see different methods is there also event is there so if you'll want to write some code uh, which is specific to the data source and which is associated with this form then you can write the code for event handler like this so if you'll we'll expand it 
if you want to copy the event handler that is also possible right you can see that it is possible to copy the event handler also other than this if you open this method section which is present in the data source uh, and if you want to copy the event pre and post that is not possible so if you want to write the code for cast table which is associated with this particular data source so you have to write it in the table level so it is best practice to use the pre handler post handler in the method level instead of writing here because that is not possible to write over here right other than this if you'll if you'll open the tab section here and you can see that for this particular tab there is a event right so can i write the code for this particular event obviously you can do uh, if you right click over here that you can see that for form designer section if you want to write some code that is also possible for uh, this particular event for example one tab i can it can be focus lost or got focus so at the time of when this tab actually got focus that time you can write some code to change the behavior of that particular node uh, that particular tab right so again there is a method section you can see can i write the code this is not possible to write the code uh, here and if you'll expand the tab section uh, for each and every uh, tab page details you can also write the code for the event so uh, you have to copy the code and you can write, uh, create a class and inside this class you can uh, write the code if it is required so most of the cases that we eat even these events will be not be useful but if you have a specific requirement that we should write some code or change we need to change some behavior of that pa tab page details then you can write the code right so for example uh, in this tab general uh, you can see that there is a tab group so for the tab group the name of this group is identification group so if you want to write the code that is also possible for this particular event so for example there is a fields account field right then if you expand it you can see that there is also event is uh, there and different types of events on enter on uh, for got focus on lookup living so if, if you want to write the code for it you can also copy the code and you can also write the code for this particular event so as per this demonstration you can uh, see that there are different types of uh, events is there for example you can uh, it can have the table level event it can be the form level event it can be the uh, form level data source it can be uh, control level events okay so these are different types of event but you have to remember that why do we have to write the code this is the difficult part of the event handler so if there is a requirement that there is a account field in the cast table and uh, you have to write the code whenever we'll uh, enter something on this particular uh, account field then you have to write the code on the identification account number string field and you have to use this particular event on enter so when you will uh, user will enter something this particular event will um, occur or it will execute and it will process something based on the, your business logic what you want to implement also if you want to write something on the form level then you can use this particular event okay and on the closing at the time of the closing of the form if you want to operate something and if you want to do something you can also uh, use that this particular event right so this way you can uh, use also if there is a uh, requirement that at the time of the deleting deletion you need to write some code or you want to show something to the user then you can use this particular event and all these are uh, related to actually elements so table level this is our element form is an element so you can use all these events element level as well as you can write the code for the method level okay if your particular code is associated with particular method then you can 
write the code for the free handler and post handler for a specific method using the copy event handler method pre event handler and post event handler so if you have a still problem what is event uh, then let me explain once again so a table event in dynamics 365 financial operation is a notification that is sent to the subscribed code when a specific event occurs on a table okay also in the in a microsoft dynamics 365 financial operation table events handler are a fundamental part of the extensibility framework and they allow you to respond to specific data events occurring in the table uh, within the application's data model table event handlers are useful for various types of reason for example number one custom business logic number two modularity number three consistency number four reusability number five scalability number six encapsulation and there are common uses or use case for table event handler in dynamics 365 financial operation as well as for um, also uh, form event handler there can be a common use cases for table event handlers in dynamics 365 financial operation for example for data validation you can use it to ensure that data entered or modified in a table meets specific criteria uh, okay and number two it can be the data transformation if you want to modify data before it is stored in the database such as formatting or something calculated and is there then you can use the data transformation facilities of the events okay you can also for use for logging or auditing for, for capturing changes and updates for auditing and uh, compliance purposes also for the security enforcement uh, enforcing the security and access control rule for certain data actions it you can use it also for the integration purpose you can also use the event handlers for triggering integration on data synchronization portion process when the data changes okay so you can uh, use this particular event handler so you you can use events uh, in uh, various types of reasons okay so in this video we have just discussed what is event and why event is required purpose or various types of region reasons that why event handler is required okay and some common uses uh, for the events that you can use some common reasons or cases that you can use the event handler in dynamics 365 financial operation but still we have not shown that how you can write the code for event handler in the next video we'll talk about those and i'll move to the practical example and there i'll show you how you can implement it in the real life okay so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye